Hi! You weren't expecting a video from me, weren't you? Sorry for the sudden serious video. I had this plan for a while, but I never got into doing it. But I realized it's near the end of the year and part of the script mentions something that is next year. And plus I thought about it and I was like, okay, I'm finally gonna talk about this again. I mean, I had the script prepared, it was just... I don't... I just didn't think about it for a while. Anyways, as the title suggests, I'm going to talk about the user David is cool 1234 also known as David Marshall. If you see this user on DeviantArt or YouTube, block and report him. He also has these sock puppet accounts you should also block and report. I suggest you watch this person's video to get a gist on what I'm about to talk about. Also, before you ask, no, this is not why I have been going. As I've said multiple times, school mo unmotivation has been holding me back from doing stuff. And my mental health has not been the best lately either. But, yeah. I just wanted to shine a light on this situation as well. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I was a victim of David. What do I mean by that exactly? In 2022, he commented on an art piece of my Puyo Puyo Sichiaki. I deleted the art I drew for him, but I saved one comment before I deleted one of the drawings. Here he says, can you draw Ice Juggler Cookie and Chiaki getting soaked in the rain next, please? Then I said, Oh, sorry, after that, can you stop asking? I'm sorry, once again, I just wanted to break from the request, even though it's only been two, lol. Then I said, Also question, why do you keep wanting me to draw them together? I'm just curious. So the younger me, and not so self-aware me, didn't know that this guy was trying to make me do labor. Yes, I'm being overdramatic, of course. What sparked this for me again was this comment on my profile I got from a user one day. I'm not going to include their username for privacy reasons and I don't want them to get harassed. So, here they said, Hey, just a heads up, now would be a perfect time to block slash report David is cool 123, as well as his sock puppet accounts Tammy is cool 1234, Bubba is cool 1234, and SpongeBob Cartoon Show. This person is a known menace, and I don't want you to become his next victim. Little did they already know. I responded to them saying that I had been a victim before, and I was just stupid then, but I thanked them. And I read the status from the other user who made the video I showed. Now, I'm going to read their status to explain the story and why you need to block and report this guy. I'm going to make a warning post about David Marshall for those who don't know who he is or what he's done. Please do spread this around to warn more people. David Marshall, or David is cool 1234 is a user on YouTube, DeviantArt, here, and Twitter who has been shown to be a major and extreme annoyance to artists and animators alike. And I'll tell you why. David mass requests every single person he can find to do specific art or animations for him. When he finds someone who he thinks can do his art slash animation requests, he usually asks politely at first. If someone accepts, David will always pester them at least every hour of the day or once every day asking his request is almost done. He fails to understand that art and animation takes time to make, and he doesn't give a shit about anyone else's time. Even if someone is always going through mental health issues, he will always ask if his request is done non-stop. Some people fail to realize how bad he actually is, which is why I'm making this post. If someone does realize who he really is, they will take most of the time to block him and delete his request. That will also lead to David harassing the user, constantly saying, please unblock me now or re-upload my request now, every time with force, coercion, or threats, even up to the point of death threats. What he will mostly try to request is the person he's requesting in some sort of pain or trouble relating to weather, such as electrocution, being soaked in rain, going through a snowstorm, or struggling in the wind, the one he requests the most. And I don't know why he is that obsessed with it, but I think it's his weird fetish or something. It makes it creepier and weirder when the character he wants in these weather-themed animations or drawings is the person he's requesting. Like, he takes satisfaction from seeing people being in trouble from weather predicaments. But that's just a theory. Okay, theory. I don't know why he does that. That's not the whole thing, but that's most of it. It should essentially explain everything for the most part. Speaking of the weird fetish art thing, 
I figured out what the term was for that a while ago, and then I thought about it, what happened in 2022. This video by Project s and Courtney is not about this guy, but it's about another guy who did sort of a similar thing. They asked various people in the Sonic fandom to draw their characters in cheerleader uniforms. They explained some of this pretty well. I found out because of this video, there was a term for this kind of thing and kind of what David was doing, essentially. This is called fetish farming. This was when someone asked an artist to draw something of what seems to be innocent on the surface, but then it's really odd if you think about it. Here's a clip from Courtney's video explaining this. This kind of stuff still happens, and it's been around for so long that there's actually a term for this kind of thing now. It's called fetish farming. As you may have guessed, fetish farming is when someone gives an artist a seemingly innocent request or asks a question that seems harmless at first. Something like, can you draw Rouge the Bat burping? Or, is your OC ticklish in the armpits? Even the things I listed in the beginning of the video are real things that some of my friends have been asked before. Heck, Cheerleader Man wasn't the only time I personally experienced fetish farming. Back when I used Tumblr, I had to turn off anonymous asks because I would get someone on multiple occasions asking me to draw Essenti and Sylveon wearing tutus. After what happened with Cheerleader Man though, I knew to ignore weird requests like that. I mean, yes, it seems innocent at first, but when it's asked multiple times on multiple occasions, you start to question their intentions. So thank you, Courtney, for making me realize my mistakes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to shed a light on this and warn you about this guy. In general, if you see this sort of thing on any website, thankfully this hasn't happened again. It almost did. But thankfully the user who commented on my profile sort of saved me and helped me dodge a bullet there. And the funny thing is, even though Chucky was sort of based off me, she wasn't my Sona at the time. Not even close. Neither is Crescent now, who I haven't shown yet, since, yeah, no motivation. I'll make a video talking about where I've been, but for now, please take this cautionary tale and remember to please block and for anyone who does this sort of thing to you. Thank you.